Okay, my name is uh, Josie, I'm from Portugal. I've been living in London for uh, almost uh, 22 years. I've been uh, diagnosed with the brain tumor. Uh, I was uh, diagnosed on, uh, on the 30th of uh, April uh, last year, 2017. Uh, I was at work uh, and I feel um, my side, right side, were very weak, and I uh, went to a hospital, and they told me it was uh, stress. I had uh, stress from my job and uh, from my work, and then um, uh, I went back home, and then uh, went back to work the next day, and uh, I couldn't work because I was feeling dizzy. Uh, I went to a private clinic, and they told me the same as uh, they told me in the hospital. And then uh, I went back home, I, the pain was, I can't hold the pain. And so after a month, I stay at home for a month. I cannot go out, uh, I cannot do anything. Uh, I told with, uh, like uh, doctors tell me it was the stress from work and I uh, had take some time off from work uh, and uh, you'll be fine. But after a month, Nothing was working. They gave me some vitamins, they gave me some stuff for stress, and uh, it wasn't working. So um, I went to back to hospital with a friend. Uh, and my friend said, uh, is something wrong with you, Tony? Because you're getting weak and weak, weak by, you know, very weak. And uh, we went back uh, to hospital again, and uh, my friend uh, said to me, just sit down and uh, don't talk. Don't talk, don't say anything. I'm gonna go to them and I'm gonna tell them you had a stroke. And then he went there and they told the lady I had a, a stroke, mini stroke. And then uh, they took me in straight away and then they done a scan and they told me we don't know what it uh, is. So you had to stay here overnight and then uh, uh, we gonna send you to the results to Charing Cross a Hospital in London, and they uh, they gonna check for us, and we let you know as soon as we get the results back. And then uh, I, I don't know what it was, so I wasn't afraid. I wasn't no, I was no panics, nothing. And then. Um, uh, they come back, uh, results came back, said uh, I got a tumor on, uh, on the brain. Uh, it was a bad one. Was, uh, and then I said, oh my God, this is crazy, you know. And then uh, the way they told me, they told me straight on my face, okay. They didn't come to me, they didn't talk to me nasty. Just, they come to me, he said, uh, the doctor said to me, you know what you got? Um, I said uh, no, uh, and he told me you got a brain tumor. I said no because they haven't told me that yet. And then uh, uh, he, he took me to his desk and they opened the computer and told me you got a um, brain tumor and it's a size of uh, orange, quite big inside. And then uh, they sent me straight away to Channing Cross same day, and then um, I was there for two days. Uh, doing uh, scans, uh, three three days I was doing scans there, yeah? two, three days um, sc scanning me and then um, they sent me home for two weeks and they done the, in two weeks they done the, the operation and uh, next day, uh, day before the operation the uh, doctor came to see me and they told me I have a, uh, is a very, very aggressive tumor they can't do much and then i had the operation on the uh, 3rd of may 2017 and then uh, on the fifth uh, or uh, two days after they sent me home i had the operation on wednesday friday they sent me home i was only two days in the hospital uh, after the operation uh, i done um, uh, radiotherapy for uh, six weeks and, and uh, I was doing chemo at the same time, seven days a week chemo and uh, five days a week uh, radio. And then uh, they came uh, after radio, I was feeling tired, 
this is gonna go out, uh, they are killing me. Uh, they all my skin, you can see it was all burned from the radiotherapy. I, I was, I should not, never, never done that. If I knew what, what I knew today, I, I, I would do the chemo, no, but radiotherapy, I would not, I never had done that. And then, uh, we start to, after two weeks, they start with the chemo. Um, for uh, another uh, 12 months, chemo, I was, they were killing me. The chemo was killing me, doesn't help me. Uh, and then um, I done it. And now through the, the chemo, uh, they, uh, they didn't expect me to live more than six months because uh, the the tumor is very aggressive i never told my family that not even my wife i keep for myself and uh, today my mom and my dad doesn't know anything about this because i never told them uh, because they're uh, i mean they're old they are my dad 75 my mom 74 so i don't want to give my mom and, and dad um, you know i don't want to uh, give them an news they you know i was so so stressed and i got three kids so my even my my younger kids they don't know what i have my boy is 12 i never told them i told my boy i told them that he had the infection inside and then um, uh, he, he doesn't know today i, I got cancer i had a bruma uh, um, moving out uh, tumor i went um, on the, to see the oncology they told me on my face people you lucky if you get two years. Most people don't reach two years. And no, I spent a lot of crazy money on this. No one believes the money I spent on this. I get people from uh, oncology from Portugal came over to see me. Uh, she, she came twice to see me. Uh, I had another, I don't gonna call him a gentleman because I, he came over five times from Portugal to, uh, to try to heal me. They done a, a spirit uh, operation. He done one on me, but uh, the healers, uh, I had two healers came over, uh, one from Portugal and uh, one uh, from Brazil, and uh, none of them worked to me. Uh, they just uh, took money and I was, when uh, I was uh, very excited because I told I had the healing from uh, those people. Uh, and then uh, I went to hospital to get my, uh, done the scan. Every 10 months I was doing uh, scans, uh, MRI scans, and none was working, none was working. And uh, my next uh, step was, uh, check uh, on YouTube, try to find someone can can uh, help me. And then uh, uh, I was so desperate, can't find anyone. I start, you know, I told my wife, I stopped bringing people to help me because we had so many people came from Portugal, Brazil. It was nothing was working. I was uh, doing crazy stuff, but Nothing. I changed my food. I changed everything. I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking. And you know, I tried to be healthy. People told me you have to this, this and that. I was doing everything. Nothing was working on me. And then, well, this was in uh, my first uh, six months of chemo. And then uh, I carry on with chemo. My wife, she was so stressful. She was so. Oh, is unbelievable. She's, you know, she was next to me for for year and a half. She's like a rock. She won't let me go out. She helping me. She was next to me 20, 24 hours a day. Um, next to me, try to find. She she done everything to help him, but nothing was working. And um, I'm a fighter. I don't give things up. Uh, and I carry on with the chemo. Uh, I done this seven session of chemo, and they look at me every time I was go there. They look at me. Oh, they look at me and they say, "Oh, you look well. You're doing well." But 
I never told them. I never told them nothing because I was doing chemo just because I had to. Yeah, I had no other options. Mm -hmm. I was afraid at the time. That's why I, 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 I carry on with the chemo. I knew the chemo it was not doing anything to me. It wasn't helping me at all. And then uh, I used to do MRI scans every three months. Every three months, I was chemo. The results it was the same. All the t all man months it was the same. My wife came to me one day. And uh, she said, uh, oh, uh, I find someone on YouTube, his name is Jerry Sargent, he's a healer, uh, can you please check his weakness, uh, his uh, dysmonias. And I said, listen, don't come to me, don't, please, uh, I don't believe on that. You, I said, I don't want to do anything else because this is people come for money. And then uh, she said to me, no, no, check, check in the, the, his videos and stuff. No, I won't check his, his videos because I don't believe in that. And then she booked me. Uh, uh, Jerry had a weekend um, workshop in, uh, in London and she booked uh, for me to go there without telling me. And she said to me, you have to go to London working shop with Jerry. I said, I won't go because I was laughing in her hair. I said, what are you doing? Eh? I don't believe on that. And then uh, she said, you have to go. I said, okay, I'll go. I'll go just to make you happy, that's it. And then I went and then first day, well, I feel energy come through me. I, w I was crying, a lot of water came out of my face and uh, I was there like that and then I feel energy come through my body and I, it took pressure from my head and I said, I was, oh, this is crazy. And then um, Jerry, uh, I had a shift there that day and Jerry came to me. I was uh, on the floor and uh, I was like shaking like that and Jerry came to me and uh, he put his uh, hand and uh, he grabbed my hand and then he stopped her. I, was, I looked at Jerry and I said, uh, this is amazing. I was loving Jerry and they say, this is amazing. I feel, oh, I was so happy. I was a different person. So this one, uh, it was on a Saturday, first day. And I went back on a Sunday and uh, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. And then um, I said to my wife, uh, I, I believe this man, I believe this man. And then I uh, start listening to his uh, healing on uh, YouTube, change for his um, videos on YouTube. And I was uh, listening to seven, eight hours a day. I, now I do more than that. I do 12 hours day and night. I, I'm there all the time because I feel, now I feel the energy, yeah, come through my body. And then uh, I asked Jerry to, if he can do a uh, private one view one healing. And then um, Jerry was so busy. And uh, I, you know, I, please, please, Jerry, uh, help me on this because I, I had the feeling. And then, um, uh, but when I was uh, on the workshop, Jerry said to me, keep in touch, brother. I say, I will keep in touch, brother. And they took me about two months to get in touch with Jerry, because Jerry is, uh, he was in the UK, he was uh, he's a busy man, and he, he goes everywhere, and then I start following him. And um, he booked me a healing one view one, and then uh, I was uh, on the bed, Jerry told me, light on the bed, and just relax, and let it go, let it go. Don't hold nothing back. And uh, I lay down on the bed, and uh, I saw my eyes moving, I saw my foot like this, I can't control, I try, I try to stop, I can't control my leg, everything was moving. I said, this is crazy, man, I was amazing. And then I, I want to get up on the bed and I can't get up, I can't move my legs, it was heavy, it's like I had uh, something on top of me, I can't move. And then uh, uh, Jerry told me uh, after healing, 
I'm gonna do about 15 minutes, an hour, and then you're gonna be sleeping after that uh, for maybe more an hour, two hours. And uh, after healing, I was sleeping four hours. Beauty, beauty sleep I had that day. And then I keep asking Jenny to heal me. Jenny never said to me, uh, you, you need, uh, Jenny never said to me, you have to book another appointment, uh, do this or that. It was me asking Jerry to sign healing to me. And Jerry was, is, is an amazing person. He's, uh, to me, is the best person uh, I meet in, uh, on this world. Uh, uh, Jerry and uh, his assistant, uh, her name is uh, Christina. I call her Christita, as a Portuguese called Christita. And then uh, she's an amazing, amazing, amazing person. She helped me a lot. She always on, on me on the phone. We talked for an hour every day and uh, she was amazing to me because I was going through a tough time and to have someone on the phone listen to me, talk to me, give me some advice or she's on my heart forever what she done to me. Um, and then uh, Jerry Carlion doing it, he done uh, several uh, healing sessions with me one you one and I start feeling my body get stronger and stronger, more energy in, and I, I start running, I start playing football with my boy. Uh, every single day I will take my, my boy to the park, uh, playing football, and uh, Jerry told me to do crazy things, run on the park, cuddle trees, and uh, <laughs> I, f I find it a bit funny, because people look at me, think I'm mad, I, I jump on the trees, color the trees, running on, on the grass, doing fun, do crazy things, like a child, I was like a child. Everyone look at me in the park, what that man doing, he's crazy. Even kids ask me, what are you doing? And then I, I love them. I say, I like to play the same as you, you know? <laughs> and I never told anyone, you know, but I was enjoying myself. And then uh, I done uh, everything Jerry asked me to do. He asked me to take the greens. Uh, he advised me to take uh, vitamins. Um, and I was doing everything Jerry told me to do. And uh, I, I was feeling so stronger. Uh, I could play with my kids uh, and I start happy. And uh, I start making plans uh, for the future, future of my life. And, uh, and things change. So uh, I had a friend, uh, he done the operation the same day as, my, as uh, me. And then um, we, we done the same treatment, okay? Um, we started uh, radio therapy on the same day. We, uh, we start chemo the same day. And then uh, when I find Jerry on the end of my chemo, uh, I asked him to come with me uh, to see Jerry and uh, he said, his wife said, no, no, uh, we, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I keep telling him, he's a good friend of mine. Um, I keep telling him, come, come to Jerry, he's helping me. Can you, can you look at me? Can you not tell, I'm, I'm better than I was before and they didn't want to do. So, we finished chemo the same day. I was with Jerry, uh, start with Jerry that time. And then um, he, I, after two months, I, I give him a call, see how was, how was he doing. And then uh, his uh, brother-in-law picked the phone up and they said uh, to me, uh, I, I said, uh, where is John? And they said, uh, oh, Tony, sorry, Johnny passed away. I was, wow. He get this exactly the same tumors as mine. He start uh, uh, chemo, uh, radiotherapy, the same. We went all the way through. We finish. We start the same day. Finish the same day. He went home. He's home, and he went home. And then uh, we are chatting on the phone. And uh, I call him. Passed away. I was shocked. I was shocked. Uh, and then uh, when I finish my chemo is uh, the tumor, it was the same. They told me uh, the swelling around the tumor, swelling, it was uh, this slight, a bit slight, but it was no, they can't do anything. 
more. And then um, when I start with Jerry, um, I went. Uh, I was with Jerry for three months. Yeah, and then uh, I went to do MRI scan again. Okay, I done the MRI scan. Uh, went home, wait for two weeks, but I had the feeling. I well, I had the feeling Jerry done something amazing to me. When I when I went back to the hospital to get my results, I was confident. First time I was going into the hospital, and uh, I feel I feel great. Before I didn't want to go through the, that door. I get panic when I go to the room, wait for news every month get news every, you know every three months get news from scan you cannot speak sleep you it's a crazy 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 and then um, oh, that day i went to get the results um and the uh, oncology came into the room with a big smile uh he came with uh, another doctor or there was three of them came into the room i didn't ask what it was because i was focused on what they're gonna tell me but the way they came into the room first time they look at me and smiling i'll say i say to myself oh they bring good news to me the way they come in they i told my wife they bring good news so they they told me i said uh, are you bringing good news to me they said no I bring you amazing, fantastic news to you. I was like, wow. Then um, my wife uh, asked them, uh, can I get the report? They told me, no, no, we can't give you your report. You have to go before the, um, you're doing scans, you have to go to the safe and order from there. We didn't bother that. I never asked them because I don't ask many questions. So when my wife asked for a, uh, the, um, the results they told me uh, you i can't give you the results uh, we signed to you gp and they sign they will sign to you i said but i want the scan and they say we can't give you the scan you need to go to main building i order from there then they, they will sign it to you in a couple of weeks uh, months I don't, i'm not sure how long we will take them uh, me to get them but uh, I want to see how is that is and then he say um, he had uh, his computer on the trolley and uh, he said to me can you come here can you come over and uh, i'll show you on the computer and then open computer and they told me you you chuma used to be here i said used to be he said yeah used to be it's gone it's clear and he showed me this scan. You see where all black, no spot of white, nothing was clear. Yeah. And I was, wow. I said to him, close your computer. Yeah. I don't want to hear any more about this. And then, and then uh, I just say, thank you very much. As you, whatever. And I went. I went because when I get outside, I was like, Jumpy, she. I was jumping like that, like Ronaldo runs and she. And I start calling people. I uh, get calls from every people are happy. They came to see me at home, and then um, I went to see my GP. I didn't want to tell him anything, and they came to me straight away, I shake hands, and they said, uh, "I'm happy for you. I got your results." Uh, I say, wow, thank you. And then I said, uh, I don't want to talk about that because I've been, uh, you know, year and seven months, eight months, year and eight months uh, waiting for that. Uh, it was time to be funny and try to celebrate it. And then they told me it's clear. I say, wow, what a feeling. And then I knew Jerry, Cure me, yeah? Jerry never, never, never say to me, I will heal you, I will cure you. Jerry always say to me, I'm, I'm just a facilitator. I'm not going to help you, send you energy. But we never, Jerry, we never, never talk. Jerry knew I had a tumor on, uh, on my, near my brain, on the head. But Jerry never, never say to me, I will cure 
your tumor or never, uh, never say, Jerry said, I'm a facilitator and then I will help you, Josie, but because I watch his videos, his testimonials, uh, I never asked Jerry, I, I want to, when we had the healing, I never asked Jerry, uh, can you cure my tumor? Can you do this? Can you do that? And Jerry will know that. And we never, I remember telling Jerry, I go brain tumor. But I now I don't remember Jerry never, never ma mentioned, uh, you got a brain tumor, I will cure you. Never, never. He never did that. He said to me, I'll send you energy, will help you. And then uh, that's, that's it. Jerry saved my life. Jerry is my, it's on my heart forever, and uh, everyone is happy. And uh, Jerry's gone me with me until on the on the soul. Thank you very much for listening, and uh, I will give you advice as well. And uh, people like me don't believe in healing, don't believe in people like, like Jerry, and. Uh, I'll give you advice, if it wasn't Jerry, I wouldn't be here today. Jerry never asked me to do a, a tissue money for Jerry. And then uh, I said, uh, Jerry, I asked Jerry, Jerry, please, can I come and give you a testimony? And uh, Jerry said, well, if you want to do it, you will come. And uh, that's why I'm here today.